Hello there, welcome to another preview of Starbound 1.0, where we look at some of the, um, the nightly builds that the developers put out every day as they march towards the final release, which should now only be in a few weeks time. Looking forward to that. Okay, so today we're looking at pets, capturing them, and- oh hello, um, there's something down there. Uh, okay, we're going to capture some pets using pet capture pods, and then we're going to put collars on them to make them obedient. Right, so I don't really know how this works, but I've got loads of them, and um, we'll show you how to make them in a bit. Um, right, okay, so I think I'll just have to toss my orb at it. No. Oh, I've got to weaken it. For oh, look at my health. Um, I'm not an admin at the moment, so hang on. Uh, hmm. So you've got to be careful. Um, <laughs> try and avoid his bubbles, hang on. There we go. Let's heal. Uh, there we go, that's all good. Now I've got to weaken it, so... Uh, hang on. Tonk? Oh, it's... Oh dear, it's a bit strong. Um, right. Okay, just... Oh, hello, that's it's a different weapon to what I expected. Okay, I think you have to get it down below half health. Then, you can capture it. So, there we go. Achievement unlocked, Monster Whisperer. Yep, so this is definitely the first time I've done that. Uh, okay, let's um, grab that. So, now, as you can see, the capture pod has turned red, which means there's something in it. Which I think it means it's now a pet. So, let's go back to the ship. Uh, one second. There we go. I've made the ship bigger, by the way. Um, cheatingly. <laughs> Since this is still a preview, I think I can get away with that sort of thing. So hopefully, if I now um, get rid of this... Hup, I have my pet. And it's also, as you can see, um, the you can see the name as well. So he is now a helpful little chum. He is no longer a right prick. He's going to bubble my face off. Uh, he's not the most exciting thing in the world, is he? But it does mean... Um, what, Hang on, let's, does he follow me? He does! Yes, this is the other thing that is worth pointing out. He does follow you into combat. Uh, uh mate. There, come, come, come with me, come with me. Come on, come on. Come on! Come on, you blue fuck! <laughs> God damn it. I'll just leave him there. Does he teleport to me? Oh, that's a shame, he doesn't. Uh, so I've got a, I've got a... Oh! I just clicked. I've I've got this um the the capture pod um active and I clicked. Oh well, shit, that's him. <laughs> he tele. Well, I was trying to say he teleported back uh, and now I've just tossed him out again. So okay, left click, and he teleports to me. Oh right, I didn't actually know that happened. Oh, that's useful. That is cool and excellent. Right, so now he's back in his capture pod. Let's go and take him to meet some friends. By friends, I mean pricks. Oh, I shouldn't shouldn't have gone this way. This is the dungeon. Which I was in the previous episode. Thankfully, let's see. Let's try and get him combating. Ow! Oh, my pet died as well. <laughs> Cock. Uh, 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 mulligan. God damn it. After this, I'm going to go back onto admin so I'm invulnerable. Because otherwise, uh, things get a bit too real. I'm also on bloody... Why did I why, why didn't I put this on casual? And I've got to get my stuff. Uh, stuff, 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 stuff. Oh, dicks! Right, uh, devs. Uh, hello? Game? It's gonna kill me again. <laughs> okay, let's try and do the capture thing again. Let's see, actually, see that bit better in combat, because that was a bit mad. Oh, careful. Oh, oh, fuff! Okay, now I'm invincible. Now I'm on admin mode. Let's see what happens. Oh, we'll just... Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't think my thing's very strong. Uh, I think my pet might have died somewhat. As you can see, the capture pod has just now got no red thing in it whatsoever. Uh, okay, so... Does that mean he's dead? Let's go back to the ship to see what happens. Does he come back? Or is he gone for good? He might be gone for good now. Which is fine by me. Because it was bollocks. <laughs> anyway, to actually get these um, uh, these uh, capture pods, what you need to do is... Um, again, because I'm an admin, this is not going to cost me any materials, but I'll show you how it works. The engineer's table, which is an upgraded version of the basic table, um, you, you have to actually upgrade this a bit further, requiring Jura steel, plus a few other things. I think batteries require things like gold and more copper wire. But you also need silicon board and copper wire, so this isn't available from the start. I'm just going to upgrade this, I say, using the cheating method. And now, this has turned into an architect's table. And now, we are allowed to... Oh, we also can print the... Um, make the um, pixel printer. Ooh. But that's not for this episode. Okay, so pet station. Craft it. Uh, wait for it. And there we go. 
Right, so let's just bung this up on the wall. Oh, no, no, it's not a wall thing. No, that's the old style. Uh, it's, it's just a freestanding thing of me. Uh, here, oh, you can have, oh, look, a pet healing station. Um, used to heal captured creatures. Uh, maybe that's the problem. Maybe my um, my matey boy was a bit dying. Um, right. Well, let's craft that. I uh, wasn't expecting that to be a thing. All right, let's bung that. Oh, it's tiny. <laughs> it's wee. Oh. Uh, okay, so what else can you make? You can make the capture pods, which requires three Joe steel and a diamond. Um, so I've got already got loads of these. Um, also a pet tether. This device has a slot for a creature capture pod for storage. Uh, let's just do that, just to see that in action. Put that down. Another tiny little thing. Don't have any stored creatures at the moment because this has obviously seemed to have died. I wonder if these. I can actually bring them back. Uh, let's just check. Um, not that one. That one. Ah, there we go. So, Matey Boy is now very much alive. Uh, and in theory, we can also put that into there. What do you do? It. Ah, I don't quite understand what that does. But it does something to do with that. Okay, uh, work it out yourself, you bastards. <laughs> but, <laughs> right, anyway, so once you've got loads of capture pods, then you can go on a rampage across different planets, finding new pets. Um, so let's do that now, but I'll also tell you about collars whilst we're doing this. Um, but I don't really want this snow planet anymore. Um, it's full of bloody um, high lottle dungeons, uh, making the whole thing look silly. Let's go over here. Frozen planet. Ah, sorry, I've got a frozen um, pack on at the moment. Uh, this is the um, the heating EPP, which keeps me warm on cold planets. I've also got a little, um, if you see in the bottom, there's an Augment, Light 3. Um, augment you find, I think in chests and things. Possibly quest rewards, I don't know. And then you right, right click on the, the, um, the EPP, and it means that the uh, thing will provide you with um, a special buff. In this case, I've always got light, so uh, that's rather handy if I go underground. And I'm making videos, and it was all really dark and looks stupid, uh, mentioning no episodes. Also, yep, collars are things that you find, and in the same way as the EPP, you can right-click on your captured pod, um, and you kind of like augment it. In fact, where's the, where the, where the bloody hell's my capture pod gone? Oh, it's in there. Hang on. Uh, let me just do that. Do 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 do. So, if you see at the bottom there, it says no collar worn. Um, if you um, if you equip a collar, right-click on no collar worn, it'll start to wear a collar, and it'll have special effects. We'll come to that shortly. Let's just capture a few more chums. It's another bloody, bloody cold planet. Ugh. But it's a rather pretty, um, warm-looking one. <laughs> oh, those wacky biomes. Uh, the light augment showing its worth at the moment. Um, so all we need is... Hang on, let's um, get rid of that from there and that from there. Right. Okay, so we've got those equipped. Um, running towards all these hundreds, maybe even thousands of enemies. Oh, hello. Uh, what's in there? Uh, I don't know what that is. It's a rocket launcher. I'll, I'll have it. Right, there we go. Oh, this is, there's going to be no bloody creatures, is there? <laughs> Come on. Up. Right, there's there's a procedurally generated one. It looks like um, they've got an axe for a tail. Okay. Um, let's see if we can... Oh, we've got a first. We've got a Tonkum. Have I got... In fact, I'll use that rocket launcher since I've just picked it up. Uh, okay. So, what sort of... Oh, it's a homer. Ah! Oh! Okay, right. There. And there. I only want one, to be honest. But they're inconveniently... Oh, it's poisoning them as well. This is quite the weapon. Right, okay, there we go. Now let's capture the hell out of them. Um, I, oh, maybe... I, oh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, I'm an, it's okay, I'm an admin. These might be too big to capture. Oh, no, I've got one. And you. And I've got you as well. Uh, I don't really want two of these. Um, some indescribable horror. <laughs> uh, yes, um, yeah, I think I suspect all procedurally generated ones have that same thing. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a, um, hmm, it's a dungeon. Uh, don't really want to go that way. Right. Okay. So collars then. Don't need health packs at the moment. Uh, so, okay, so we've got four creatures here. So, I've got all the collars already in my inventory due to cheating. And we've got a poison bomb collar, um, which will cause the pet to explode when they're defeated, showering the enemies with poison. I'm um, a bit like that um, thing I've got, um, the weapon I've got. Um, healing, 
uh, which re repairs their, um, their healing. Um, and, and there's three different strengths of this. This is the strongest one. Electric Bomb, another an exploder. Damage 3, which does more um, significantly boost your pet's damage output. Um, because I think the, the pets do attack other enemies. We haven't really seen that properly so far because it was such a farce. Um, a Bouncy Collar for making bouncy pets, for whatever reason. A Fire Bomb, another bomb one. And Health, um, significantly boosts your pet's total health. Right, I think um, it would be wise to try and heal my petty poos. So let's do that first. Oh, the, I mean, oh, the good thing about this is it doesn't actually cost anything. Um, but I suppose you actually do have to make the healing thing in the first place. Uh, I think this should do what we need to do. There we go. Right, okay. So now I'm going to apply collars all round. And I'm going to do this indiscriminately. So equip. And I think right click like that. There we go. He is now wearing a poison bomb collar. Right. Healing. Let's go for the healing one. Um, let's skip other bomb ones. Damage one, that'd be a good one. That's, that's that. And why the hell not? Let's have a bouncy pet. Oh, I don't think I, I, don't think I really applied that, did I? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, yes, I forget. That's fine. Right. Okay. So let's go back down to the planet. And let's see these things in action. Although, let's just wait until the daytime first. Right, time to unleash the pets. Uh, hup. There we go. Oh, look! Look at him! Look at him! So you could, it's really obvious that he's got the poison bomb collar on. Um, how many pets? Can you actually have more than one pet at once? Sadly not. Um, yeah, when you when you toss a new one, the, the old one disappears. He's the one that had the, um, the healing one on, so he'll heal a lot better. Um, and yep, yeah, and he's... Which one is he? I did this in order, so I should know. Da he's the damage one, and there's also the bouncy one. Well, I've got to try out the bouncy one, haven't I? Bouncy, 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 bouncy. <laughs> uh, bouncy, bouncy. Come over here. Let's bounce over here. Come on, my friend. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Oh, I think I'm getting a bit loud there. Uh, right, come on. Come on, lad. Come on. Let's take you to meet some enemy, and let's make you fight with your stupid bouncy collar. Walking along the planet. If you do actually get too far away from your pet, he does automatically teleport to close to you, I've been finding out. So you... Ow. <laughs> ow. So you don't need to faff too much. So you can actually have your weapon equipped. Oh, look, look there's a baddie. There's a baddie. Uh, my mate... Oh, my God. <laughs> He's going for a bounce. He's going for a hell of a bounce. Right. Let's unleash the, um, the whatever the hell that is. The unknown horror. And let's see if we can get a little fight going on. Uh, first of all, I drown the baddie. <laughs> oh, he's not. Hang on, let's... Um... Right. Hello! Do something! There... Oh, God, there we go. Uh, now they're going to fight. It's not very well, admittedly. Let's do that. Uh, watch the little... Um, the bounce off. Oh, God, he's gone! Uh, my... Oh, what? Fuck it, hell. My guy is not very strong. <laughs> uh, well, he's dead. Well, oh, he needs healing. I think um, he seems to have got. He seems to be back in the pod. So at least um, he doesn't seem to always die. I'm not quite sure why that is. Maybe you've got. Maybe he's got an extra life. Okay, let's try this damage guy. Uh, let's try him um, because this um one of them. I think it's number three, has a extra damage collar. Yeah, it's um my third uh, monster, and it would be good to see what sort of damage he does. Right, oh, here we go. Here's some springtime enemies. Um, none preceded generated this one, so let's get my damage guy out. Right. Hello. Hello. Stop doing the hula. Pay attention. Oh! Right, okay. So, little tonk. Now, now there we go. And, oh. Why is my, why are my people so bloody awful? Right, okay. <laughs> Sod that. Let's, let's get the exploder on the go. That did very little. <laughs> My pets are shit! God damn it. Maybe it's just the wrong level of planet, because this is going to be quite a tough planet. Um, mm, yeah, okay, so <laughs> that's a very quick look at pets anyway. I think um, uh, a bit more experimentation is required. Every they're all dead now. Um, oh, yeah, the little red dot has actually disappeared now. I've actually selected them. I think that might be a little bit of a bug at the moment. Um, yeah, because the red light doesn't go off straight away. Um, okay, so I need to go back to my ship to heal everyone. 
Uh, okay, so um, let me just have a quick look at um, the other collars. Um, health, well, that, I think that all takes care of itself, doesn't it? Um, oh, the oblivious collar, that might be a bit different. A collar that pacifies your pet, which makes it so it doesn't attack anyone. Um, so let's, first of all, we'll just quickly heal, let's see, do that one, or whatever. Um, hmm. That's completely the wrong thing, hang on, <laughs> that one. Uh, just heal him. Right, and now we can override the... Um, hang on, let's get the collar up. Now we can override the exist... Oh, bloody hell. We can override the existing one by uh, just right-clicking on it and it'll replace the collar. There we go. So you do lose the original collar. So he's now an oblivious pet, which means um, when you... Were, no, might as well demonstrate this um, just before we finish. It means he will not attack... Um, and probably just end up dying even quicker than before. <laughs> I really need to find a way of making these pets tougher. Maybe it is a case of going to s tougher planets and capturing from there. But it's just quite strange because I mean, this is um, I was, this is the same sort of planet as previously. So you'd have thought they'd put up a bit more of a fight against creatures which I thought would be the same level as them. Most irritating. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. So, oh look, he's got a little love thing. Oh, uh, that means he's, he's, he's a lover, not a fighter. Uh, okay. Oh, because he's a toothy little fuck, isn't he? This this planet has got so many procedurally generated ones. Normally, you hardly see them at all these days. Um, okay, let's... Um, oh, this, this, this enemy's not very intelligent, is it? Um, come on. I'm currently trying to demonstrate the fact that the creature does nothing, so... I think the creature won't also... Uh, the, the bad creature won't attack my guy either. So this is a good collar for people who don't actually want the pet to keep on dying, I guess. Yeah, yeah they're, they're not really doing anything, are they? And boom! Can I actually attack my own pet? No, I can't. Oh, that's good. I was, should have tested that ages ago. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, right, let's just go back to the, pla um, the ship. Okay, so that's pets. Um, it's a bit of a rough and ready guide, but this is just a little preview. Um, I'm not, this is not exactly an expert guide. I think you'll have realised that by now. <laughs> Okay, so in the next episode, um, we'll look at something else in the nightly builds. Um, and we're, we're continuing to march towards 1.0. So that's going to happen fairly soon. Um, hopefully by the end of June, but you never know. It might go into Unstable first before it goes onto the main branch. So anyway, um, in, in enough blathering. Um, thanks for watching. This has been Jamie from randomizeduser.com. Um, subscribe for future videos about Starbound and a lot more besides. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh